Finding a new virus or different strains of an existing one is like searching for a needle in a haystack. And when the haystack is as big as the planet, it takes a really good microscope and a large coordinated team. A virus hunter is a scientist who's looking for new strains of the pandemics we're living with, like SARS-CoV-2 or COVID, uh, HIV or hepatitis viruses that are constantly changing. Virus hunters are also out there looking for new viruses that we don't know about yet. And that's where we're trying to understand what could potentially become the next pandemic in the future. It's been a painful few years. We've all lived through this pandemic. Nobody wants to live through another pandemic. So we need to, to learn the lessons and uh, not reinvent the wheel. After March of 2020, and wave after wave of new variants of COVID-19, researchers realized they needed a better way to stay ahead of a virus that doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. Abbott's Pandemic Defense Coalition is the first public-private effort led by industry to bring scientists together to track current and emerging pathogens. The team is collecting virus samples from all over the world and searching for mutations. So far, they managed to alert the world to several that have swept the globe, including Gamma from a lab in Brazil and Omicron from a lab in South Africa. So the whole process start to finish begins with a collaborator at a site that's collecting samples from people who've been tested for COVID. And once they get a result, we wanna know what strain was present in the sample. After an inactivation step, we take the sample itself and remove everything else about the sample except for the nucleic acid, which is where the genome of the virus is found. And that's the material that we can use to either determine how much virus is there or quantitate the virus, or we can use that material to then sequence and determine which variant was present in the sample. The coronavirus is constantly mutating, but not all of its changes are important. One of the most difficult aspects of staying ahead of the virus is figuring out which of these could become a threat to public health. The sequences always give us a clue because we do know that certain mutations are most likely to cause a virus to be able to spread faster or to be able to evade the immune responses that people have built up already. And so that's how we get a, a view into what might be coming next. But really, the virus is in charge here <laughs> and it's still surprising us. Abbott's Pandemic Defense Coalition is a network of experts in infectious disease, genetic sequencing, phylogenetics, and epidemiology. They have more than a dozen partners on five continents who work to collect samples, test them, and share the data among themselves and with other public health and political leaders around the world. Researchers say the data collected from sequencing can help them to ensure that tests for detecting the virus continue to work, so people will know when they are infected, even with newer variants, and take proper safety measures like isolating and wearing masks. So by having a network like this strategically positioned around the world will give us um, eyes in the field, boots on the ground, that will spot the trends, identify the cases, enable us in real time to share information, sequence samples, and also to rapidly build diagnostic tests that can then be distributed back around. So if we're seeing something in Sao Paulo, are we also seeing it in Thailand? That type of information is critical to have quickly so that different countries can prepare and respond. We're building this capability and capacity at our partner sites around the world. Uh, so there's limited need for shipping of samples. That information is shared, you know, via emails and through the cloud, et cetera. As of November, 2021, Abbott's Pandemic Defense Coalition has analyzed over 1.4 million sequences from 63 different variants. And it's clear they won't be done anytime soon. In addition to known pathogens, we also need to be looking for unknown pathogens that could be new and potentially spreading silently. Once we have all that amount of data, we then have a pipeline of bioinformatic tools that can quickly identify if, oh, maybe there's just a pathogen here that is known and they just didn't test for it. Or maybe there's something that's completely novel. And that's where diagnostic tests are really important early on as we evaluate that and help public health responses 
act accordingly. Well, I think this is one of the main uh, focuses of the Abbott Pandemic Defense Coalition is to democratize the knowledge and the expertise that we've developed over the decades here to our partners around the world. Um, to build the next generation of virologists, of virus hunters, of epidemiologists, I think that's critical. Preventing the next pandemic is a team sport, and collaboration is the only way we win.